Travis Wayne Goodsell. Throughout all scriptures, including the Book of Mormon and Doctrine and Covenants, Pearly Ray Price, the scientific method of agronomy is metaphorically used as to how to obtain knowledge of something as to whether it's true or not. So, let's put to the test the scriptures versus the spiritual witness feeling of Mormonism to determine whether the church is true. Mormons use spiritual witness. They get a feeling that the church is true, and so therefore the church must be true. And that's it. That's all. They don't bother to do any research. They don't bother to care to read anymore. They know it's true now. They don't need to do anything. But, to use science, now we got to do some work. Oh no, this is hard. Can't we just do a spiritual witness feeling like Mormons do? We'll, uh, we'll do the Book of Mormon. Is the Book of Mormon another testament of Jesus Christ? Mormons have already got their spiritual witness feeling. They're good to go. They know it's, it is. It's true. It's another testament of Jesus Christ. Uh, so let's use the science of the language of English. We'll go right into the Book of Mormon, 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2. It says Nephi writes it in the learning of the Jews. Uh, that's in direct conflict with the spiritual witness feeling that the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus Christ. Because Judaism is not Christianity. Jewish religion is not Christianity. Jewish interpretation of Scripture is not Christian interpretation of Scripture. The Jewish Christ is not Jesus of the Christians. Oh no. Well, Mormons, they've already got their spiritual witness answer. They feel it is another testament of Jesus Christ. And they don't care what the Book of Mormon says. They don't care what English says. That's science. Science can't tell them how to uh, interpret their spiritual witness feeling. So obviously science is wrong. English is wrong. You need to do away with English. Just focus on the spirit. Right? Because the Book of Mormon, if we were to use science, says it's the learning of the Jews. So, is this the same for every language? Uh, I've got Spanish, Espanol, and sure enough, verse 2, Los Judíos. And they put it in lowercase. What's up with that? Is there no... no yeah, Lehi is capitalized. Why isn't Judíos capitalized? Uh, let's see... The next language... What do we want here? Uh, Oz, Oslin? Aymar Aru? Bambara? Chichiwa? Or Chikiwa? I don't know. Quechua? Nyanja? It says here.
Okay, apparently they don't have it for that one. <coughs> I don't know why they have it up on the screen if they don't have it for that one. Or I don't know how to check it. Uh, Gagana Samoa? Ole, 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 ole. Penina Tao Tele. Is that the book, Marlon? Help me. <laughs> Mose. Nope, that can't be it. Ole mata upu fa ave avae ma thi aga aiga butchered that one didn't I? Momana ah Momana Ole tusi a Momana I bet you that's Mormon. Yep, first nephi. There we go. Um, the Gagana Olo Utama Oa Faaya I Le Poto A Tagata Eotiaya. Cupito, yeah. Ayutaya is Jews. They capitalized it. <laughs> so we do more. Isn't this fun? And spend hours on this. There's so many languages. Francois. Uh, Islenska, Ruski. Do we have Russian? Of course, we got Russian. Polski, Romana. Okay, it's not called Russian. Svenska. Uh, don't want to do Chinese or Japanese because that would require. Knowing the signs. Oh, there is Russian. And there's Greek. Oh, maybe this isn't Russian. This is Bulgarian. The other one was Russian. More more. Helps to know Greek in order to identify which letter the Russian alphabet is. Just as a hint. Uses the same characters as Russian. the end for the Jews and the Egyptians. Ion, Ionte. Egypt. Trante. One more? Okay. Just one more.
Svetlana, Setswana, Portuguese, Romana, Norsk, Norwegian, Mormonsbach. You know, die Mormon. <laughs> die Bach Mormon. Die Mormon Bach. German. Die Mormon. Die! It means the Bart, the Bart. The Bart, the. Yo, Dennis. Yep, still Jews. So, science in every single language is indicating that the Book of Mormon is indeed saying it's written in the learning of the Jews. Wow, so many witnesses. That's far more than two. Far more than three. Oh, man. What are Mormons going to do? So, yeah, I have just proven that the Book of Mormon is false as another testament of Jesus Christ. Because the science directly says that it is in the learning of the Jews. So now we would need to test for the learning of the Jews. Since we have disproven that the Book of Mormon is not another testament of Jesus Christ. So who put that on the Book of Mormon in the first place? Let's give you the history of that anyway. Subtitle was added in 1982. Yeah, the very next year after they had done the whole footnoting thing for the quad, finishing the triple combination in 1981. The full title reads The Book of Mormon, Another Testament of Jesus Christos. Yep. So, yeah. Who was the president of the church in 1982? Wasn't it Kimball? Feeling like a fool. <laughs> Guess what song I have on my mind, and I'm already rewriting the lyrics too. Yep, December 30th, 1973 to 5th November, 1985. Spencer W. Kimball is wrong. He's supposed to be a living prophet of Jesus. So you now see what's happened here? By using science to study and research the Book of Mormon, to run the test, to find out if it's another testament of Jesus Christ, we have learned for ourselves that Presbyterianism is not true. That the Book of Mormon is not another testament of Jesus Christ. It is indeed in the learning of the Jews, as it says. But now we have to run the test to find out if it's in the learning of the Jews. And so, wow, there's the Tree of Life. That's Jewish Kabbalah. That's interesting. That's not Orthodox Judaism. Hmm. 
wonder if there's more indications that it's Jewish Kabbalah. But yeah, it is. But we just simply ran a test to find out if the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus Christ, and we've learned that it's false. And so, with Spencer W. Kimball, we have now learned he's a false prophet. Because he's the one who says it's another testament of Jesus Christ. And it's not. Now, we can go to the next phase. Because we have learned that the Book of Mormon is not another testament of Jesus Christ. We therefore can conclude that Spencer W. Kimball, who made that change, is a false prophet. He lied. He's wrong. Now we go to the Wikipedia entry and see that Spencer W. Kimball called himself the 12th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We now know that's false. He's not the 12th president of the Church of Jesus Christ. Do you see what's happening here? By running this one simple scientific test, we have shown that Mormon's spiritual witness is false. We've shown that the Book of Mormon is not another testament of Jesus Christ. We have therefore able to conclude that Spencer W. Kimball, who added that, is false. We are then able to also confirm that he's not the 12th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Because Joseph Smith did not name his church the Church of Jesus Christ. Because learning of the Jews is what we have to test for. See how simple that was? And so I expanded it to make the video last a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah, it's that simple. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is also false. So, Mormons who've read, pondered, prayed about the church being true or not, and believed it's true because of their feeling, are also proven wrong. Not an opinion. We use science. The Book of Mormon is not another testament of Jesus Christ, and that leads us to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is not true. Ta-da!